爱你。How y'all doing? <笑> hello, hi, hello, hello, hi. Ah,、uh, I ah、uh, hi James, hi Nissan, hi Builder. How y'all doing today? I've been waiting here. I know. I saw. I saw the messages. <laughs> I saw the messages on the, uh, uh, on my stream dashboard. Y'all, fucking. So a lot of things have happened today. I also ask the magic concha thing. Yeah, I am like. Oh, you use your oshi. I don't have one. Actually, no, I do. Oh fuck. Oh shit. It. It's not broken. That would be such a waste of nail polish. Anyways, I'm fine. Well, you're my Yoshi. That's bias. You're bias. I'm your girlfriend. That doesn't count. James, they give the woo. Woo. Ah, God, that sounded terrible. <laughs> Let me. I'm sorry. I'm kind of pissed off right now. Let me do that again. <laughs> so,、uh, I mean, I'd be messed up if my Oshi was my own girlfriend. What the fuck? Uh, I'd be messed up if my Oshi wasn't my own girlfriend. What the fuck? No. No, that's no. What? <laughs> I'm not angry. Angry is a different thing. I'm just pissed off. There's a difference between being pissed and anger, like full blown anger. Well, at least to me, like being pissed off, like when someone says, "Well, at least." For me, like when so when I say I'm pissed off, I'm just like a little angry, but not really. When when you're like when I say I'm just like flat out angry, that's a whole different thing. Being angry is like you feel the full, uh, the full anger, if you will. Being pissed off to me is just like you're just kind of angry, but not enough to do anything, you know. That's 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 what it is to me. I ask two things: one to download more mods, and the other to release Nissan from Cage. And Conch said, "said yes." Yeah, but the Conch doesn't provide monetary、um, relief or anything monetary, so I gotta honor the monetization. <laughs> People paid for Nissan to be in this cage for a year. At least like close to a year, so I can't listen to the conch. Normally I would, but no. Also playing DDLC today, DDLC Plus today. I forgot to fuck. I forgot to put club. Liter. It's just Doki Doki Literature Plus. There we go. That kind of bothered me a little. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Anyways, yay. How y'all doing? Cause I'm not gonna elaborate why I'm pissed off. I don't want to talk about it. Well, at least not yet. I'm not ready to talk about it. Too pissed off. <laughs> I have twenty hours in this game. Cause I just like listening to this music. That's understandable. Nah, cause that's understandable. Anyways, yeah. 
Oh yay! Yeah! <laughs> right, let me open Hi Z. By the way, I I can go Sayori Arc IRL too. Same. Anyways, so. Sayori Natsuki best grill. We're not talking about who's the best girl here. Talking about the arcs. But you know what? It's fine. You're not it it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna open the game. I got this off I got this off uh uh Epic Games. It was free. It's still free if you <laughs> if you have an Epic Games account. It's still free. So uh, if you want to play uh yourself, you can. It's free. All characters in this game are over the age of eighteen. Slay. She's a killer queen. This game is not suitable for, chil for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. I've played this before. I, uh, I was haunted by my mistakes. Me feels, me feels like this part spoils the game. Yes. Why is Muse Dash Plus so expensive amount. Lol. Would you like to review detailed content warnings, which contain spoilers? Alternatively, in-game content warnings can be enabled in the settings menu anytime. Also, yes, I played it. Slay. Uh, no, I'm I'm not gonna read it. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you have noted the game's age rating in your region, and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Yes. $21? Jesus, fuck. Doki Doki! It's so loud. Alright, I think that's good. Stop! Uh, enter name Yoshi. You Yoshi. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Yoshi! Bra! Hello! Wait, I've played the first one. Like, I've played... It's Yoshi in-game. Nar! Oh, fuck you, Z! Oh my god! Anyways... Oh, Jesus Christ, Hazel. Uh... What is different with this one? Like, without spoiling too much, what is different about Doki Doki Letter? Like, the DLC Plus. Like, is there more? Like, oh shit, I picked the mic. Is there more content? Or... 
like I don't I don't understand I don't know anything that's fine bruh no worries also I shouldn't specify spoilers I don't know maybe more ways to die we don't die here though Uh, that girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it, it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Uh, what, what if you can in this one? Yo, my dreams. Finally. I'm kidding. I shouldn't talk about that. It makes certain people uncomfortable. Uh, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but s starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Ah. But if she's going to chase me after, uh, if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Yeah, she don't check Steam. What the fuck did you do, Z? Uh, however, I just sign idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sari catch up to me. <sighs> I almost slept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Yoshi. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sari. <laughs> Hi, Kay, how are you? Congrats on being single. I'm still dating. I didn't buy plus chill. I haven't topped up for the week. Okay, thank God. Wait for the for the week. <laughs> uh, we cross the street together and make our way to the school. To school. As we draw near, uh, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Dainuku, no one, right? As you should. <laughs> God, is it cause your third got taken? Don't worry about it. Don't check Steam. And I suddenly now feel compelled to check. By the way, Yoshi, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Ha, me. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of your, our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So you likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Mood. Uh, care giving streamers crippling anxiety. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> uh, not just that, cause we, it's I want to kill off this imaginary boyfriend you have. <laughs> He's not imaginary though. He's right there. <laughs> Join in the action, Nar. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any other skills be any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't me don't make me fuck, I can't read. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. 
I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Onward. Uh, uh, right where? Where? I'm sitting here. Oh, I see him. Wait, there's, there's still in high school. Yes. Uh, I see him all the way down there from hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm going when I'm dead. Wait, they're still alive. Anyway, bye, baby girl. Enjoy my gift. Z. Z, what the fuck did you... What the fuck did you send? I did... I haven't opened my Steam. I'm so scared. Oh, I see the email. I get emails when... Uh, I get emailed by Steam when... People like send me like games for gifts or something. Uh, the school days is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Don't worry about it, Yoshi. Bro, I'm now suddenly worried about it. <gasps> oh no! After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Mood. That's oh my god. Same. Clubs. Sari wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sari must have come into the classroom while I was pacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to, if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, and know what? Well, well, that you could come to my club. You could, oh fuck! I, you could come to my club. I'm back. Welcome back, Builder. I would like a sandwich club or a club sandwich. You're in a school. I think you have to make that yourself. Unless they have it in the cafeteria. But yeah, welcome back, builder. How are you? Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm joining I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice pres oh fuck. I'm legit being forced to sleep now, so bye bye. Bye bye, Z. Sleep well. Nar, Hazel. Can't wait for you to voice Yuri. Hmm. Tired you? Ah, I'm good. I'm a little, I'm a little pissed off. I'm like a little. You better voice Yuri as a mom here. I swear to God, motherfucker. You're going to bed. You would know. I'm watching the VOD. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not promising that. <laughs> oh, you st bro, Hazel. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
my gosh. Anyways. Oh my goodness, you called me? No. I don't think I did. Are you pissed off because of me? No. That sounds like a question. But no. Well, no. Hazel. No. It's your problem. You said bra to the doggo, so you called me too. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Oh, uh, you know what? Hazel. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, she also called Doggo, so I was also semi called. No. Hi, CT, how are you? Is she putting. Is she busy putting down Hazel? No, I'm not. Is she. She's like. She keeps taking off the. Uh, the diaper. Because she's on her period. Anyways. This is just this is just like adding to the fact that mm, maybe I should have not streamed. I'm getting more pissed off. Anyways, um I don't know why, but I love DDLC a lot. Oh! Mm. I finished the story today, by the way. Hey, yo! And start. Yo! Let's go! Uh, okay. Uh, Sayuri is vice president of the literature club. Uh, not that I was ever aware that uh, she had any interest in literature. Uh, time to grind every side quest. Oh, no. Well, good luck with that. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Uh, since she was the first one to show interest after the, f the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. 
That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told club yesterday I would be bringing a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. And then I'm alongside. Oh, no. Hey, so. You could cancel stream if you're really pissed. Oh, uh, we'll see. If, if, uh, if, if as the stream goes on and I just get more progressively pissed, I'm just gonna drop everything and stop stream. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I thought it was swallow la la after that. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Swallow la la. Anyway. Fine, I'll I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. I don't remember how I voiced Sayori. <laughs> no. Uh, and thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the class door, classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Oh shit, I'm a guy here. I forgot. Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, Yoshi! What a nice surprise! Welcome to the club! All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you- What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it! S sorry Natsuki... The girl with the sad attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori. Oh wait, she says quietly in my into my ear, then turns back to the, the girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. This is Yuri, the smartest in the club. And uh, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. Uh. Mm. Imagine selling your soul for a cupcake. Well, <laughs> Yoshi, do your guy voice. I don't want to do my guy voice. I don't know. I don't know how or what to feel about this. Bruh, it's fine. This is normal. <laughs> and it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Yashi. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so gently feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> no. Come sit down, Yashi. We made room for you at the table. So you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Oh, 
uh, the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I, as I mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and Yuri walk over uh, to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. <clears throat> Still fe feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Monsky proudly marching marches back to the table, train hand. Cupcakes and tea. Oh, yes! Uh, uh. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Monsky lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Uh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one, then Monica. I follow. It's so cute. Sayori talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. Lysing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? I made them for you or anything. I saw you technically did, Sayori. He said, well, maybe. But not for you, you, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri turn, uh, returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faint faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems really happy here, so... Uh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make sh to make the fun uh, flow. <laughs> James, thank you for the hydrate. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And I, uh, thought, and if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. It's 
Sorry, I borrowed your electric fun for Hazel. <clears throat> um, you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Uh, when we were reading books, I thought it was a book club. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, books are technically part of literature. I, I guess they also write. I'd gladly have Monica be my babysitter. Just exclude the psychotic behaviors and attachment issues. Nah, that comes with the package of having Monica. Like, as a, like, just part of it. Hold on, let me reply to, like, my friend. All or nothing, yeah. Um, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this grow this club before we graduate, right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they uh, they were all so delighted by the new I by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Uh, so Yoshi, what kind what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh considering how little i've read these past few years i don't really have a good way of answering that i read fan fiction that's what i read the sheer amount of smut and miscellaneous other fanfics i've read i've read them all well not really i haven't read them all but i've read everything in the in the roster well i do avoid some but you know i've read all in my roster that i'm comfortable with smut yes google it if you don't know what it means hi dooms how are you google it nissan google it i'm not gonna be the one to break it to you well i would but i'm not in the mood to google it Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you smart now? <laughs> Magazines, book, pictures, uh, because they relate to sex. So basically porn. Yes, but in writing. Uh, considering, uh, yeah, no, I read that. Uh, manga. Manga. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I'm not much of a reader, I guess. Well, oh, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels uh, that build up deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a, a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Uh, Dojin. Yes, I've read a lot of those too. Oh, this sounds fun. <laughs> Damn, I'm getting hard with these letters. 
spot enjoyers probably no let your imagination take you places yes bro understands <laughs> Who's getting hard with what now? Uh, Nissan says he's getting hard with letters. I'm getting distracted. Why are you still dating him, Yoshi? I don't know. Cause I like him. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm not the one reading smart books or fix. Like, genuine question. Oh, I don't know. I like him. Yeah, but... I don't read smut cause I'm horny. I'm re I read smut cause I'm bored. Man, I don't want to explain the fact that I'm asexual and I do this and I do this because I'm, I don't know, I enjoy the content. Love is love. It is. But you know, you like him that felt forced. It's not. <laughs> where, Kitsu, where are you? I need help here. <laughs> Kitsu is currently, uh, well, she's currently swamped right now because uh, like at her house, uh, she, she has guests over. Like she has family over, so uh, if I, as much as I want her to ju like be in a call right now, uh, she can't. She swamp. Oh, she swamp. Deserve <laughs> no. Uh, there are a lot of funny smut. That's true. That is true. Oh, I hit the mic. God. Uh, I'm replying to our GC like again, so like I have a GC with like my with Kitsu and Shiro, and I love how just this is just out of context. Uh, just Kitsu saying, "Ah, yes, nothing like talking about balls with my friend." <laughs> we were we we're, we're, we're kind of talking. We're, oh, oh, Shiro, uh, Shiro's playing like Atsume for context. And sh like uh, they named all their cats like balls, so it's like white balls <laughs> and all the likes. And I'm just, oh, I love my friends, love them a lot. Anyways, uh, Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her eating. He told me another day, another time we plan how to get rid of Nisa. Oh, no. Uh, she seemed so reserved and then She seemed oh, I can't read <laughs> ah, Fuck that shit <laughs> What the fuck was that? Balls balls enjoy your puck <laughs> You know another funny thing is all three of us are like asexual We're all aces here we're all aces in the we're all ace in the hole uh, uh, she seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Uh, Dooms, look, Kitsu is a W friend. I, I'd want to be friends with her too. Ball enjoys. Nissan, that's not something you need to take note of. And, <laughs> and. But you know, I like a lot of things. Story. Oh wait, no, I read that. Uh, wait, no, that's this is different. Uh, stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I re oh ah. I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. Uh, again, Yoshi, why are you still dating this degenerate pervert? He wasn't like that before. 
I think. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just here. I have no words. Bro, that's fine. What do you mean he wasn't? I'm I don't know. I've been reading the book I bought and it's so poetic but funny. Slay. Uh, yeah, she made him a degen. Mar. I don't think I have that power. Uh, he was talking about your size nonstop. He even wanted to throw hands. I don't remember that part. I remember the thighs one, but I don't remember the time he wanted to throw hands. That's normal. <laughs> Was that before or after? Before or after what? The fuck not normal. That is not normal. It's not. Well. Oh, also, um, throwing hands for thighs. No man I don't social I don't go out much I don't go outside to know what's normal and what's not Although I have been on the internet I see the email that's a no no in my book Oh I see I see the email I'm so scared to see what to see what Z got me Oh, that motherfucker did not. Oh, God. Oh, beast. <laughs> and I know that Kitsu also has that in her book. I mean, if I told her, it would be. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't... I don't think she knows about that. What did Z do this time? Z bought me Muse Dash. Now I'm obligated to play it. She doesn't? No, I don't think she knows. I could tell her. She's gonna hate Nissan more. <laughs> you're gonna die then? Uh, your action time- Your action time sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I just saw the email. So... Ah, anyways. No, don't be. Oh. It's content, fair enough. But yeah, no. Uh, so no thighs when you are with someone noted. No, I, mean, I don't know. I think it's I th no. I think you can have thighs. You just don't have. You don't talk about it so often. I guess. But yeah, no. I feel like also yeah, tell kids to yeah. No, I feel like she'll scold me just like a little bit. She'll yell at me and be like, why the fuck didn't you tell me this? And then... She's going to be like, okay, now I'm not... She, I feel like she'll just disapprove more. Cause you, like, okay, you and... Hazel, 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 hun, babe, look at me. I never agreed in the first place. I know. Also, you forgot to send me pic. Pic of what? Uh, I desperate. Uh, I for I neglected the game. Uh, uh, also, I'm not like this IRL. Okay, like how you won't literally bow down for a real cosplay IRL you disgust me of the cinema role oh oh wait hold on it's Nissan got me a cinema role uh for valentine's and i had to open it early cause my mom asked what is in the package and she doesn't know i'm dating Nissan my parents don't know I'm dating someone. This, if I take a picture of it now, it looks like... <laughs> I 
have not seen it yet. Yeah, I know. Oh my fucking god, Hazel. Y'all have Valentine? I don't. I mean, I'm streaming on Valentine, so... I don't have anything better to do. Well, I still approach the cosplayer, but won't bow down. Yeah, no! Like, you have to have a lot of... Guts or something. No, that's not it. Like, you'd have to have a lot of guts and the lack of respect for yourself to physically bow down to a real cosplayer, or just any cosplayer for that matter. Anyways uh, Exactly uh, Bro, thank you for the stretch uh, But yeah, I still get bad vibes from Nissan Dude it's, That's the same with Kitsu What the fuck was that pic you sent? You asked for the pic for the cinema roll And I gave you the pic of the cinema roll What do you mean what the fuck was the pic I sent? You asked for it The cinema roll looks like he did something bad I told you I have no place to put him What the fuck do you want from me? That's why he's like in the corner I don't have anywhere else to put him It's not my fault he's too big to ha- Like, le le there's no space It's adorable still I know But still, it's too large Let me DM Kitsu real quick I have something in mind <laughs> Uh, I just should play grass or something I can relate to at the minimal level. Minim minimal level, yeah. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with Rock. Really? I wouldn't expect. I, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world. Then I can't really put it down. Serial horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. Only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? Why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's died... Uh, fuck. Um, Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! Fine, fine. <laughs> 
your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sorry, Sidles? Sidles up. Uh, Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Cute. I'm not cute. Nats Nats Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel co comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea for everyone. Hmm? Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem for, of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Yoshi? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Oh, hold on, there's one problem. Oh, what's that? Now we're back to the original topic of me joining the club. I boldly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sire, you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Yoshi... You all... I'm... I... am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-handed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right... Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arm around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the, ne to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at, at me once more. Yashi, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Yoshi, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! We're walking home. Look at our point. Up into reality and in your reality. If I don't know how to love you, I need to be.
Uh, with that, the two of us departed the club room and make our way uh, make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and make sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Uh, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Universe! Uh, excitement! Memories! Uh, fireflies! Uh, vanilla! Uh, music! Um, clouds. Sparkle. Um, infinite. Um, uh, chocolate. Uh, sweet. And oh god, there's eight more. And then I have a daydream. Uh, doki doki. <laughs> Entropy. I'm not even reading the rest of the words. Oh wait. Uh anime. Im imagination. The games, uh, torture, no, inferno, question, marshmallow, slipper slide, sadness, pleasure, bounty, uh. You're just choosing the words that pique your interest. Yes. You're going for either Natsuki or Yuri. That's the same to what happened the last time. Hi again, Yoshi. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the, uh, the last one to come. I was last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Yoshi. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! He, like, deserves... Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori so told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And it's you too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Matsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Huh? Matsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga? Manga is literature! Swift, swiftly defeated, Natsuki flops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Yoshi always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Yoshi can become good friends too. Um... 
Sayuri. As usual, Sayuri seems oblivious to the word, uh, to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Sayori. Eh? Me? Um, I'm not really. Don't be shy. It's nothing really. What is it? <laughs> Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked a book. Uh, fuck. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri! Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yeah. Well, you could read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. I feel like you ca perfectly capture Yuri's voice. Yeah, because like, I remember when I first played DDLC, like, not DDLC+, plus, like, just normal DDLC, uh, I didn't know how she sounded until the point where it's like, oh, she's timid and mature. And so I remember that. And it's easy to just do timid and mature. Kinda. Because a lot of just, like, timid characters just have, like, their voices at that volume? Crush mark? But, you know, it's, it's great. Uh... Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off this, some scheduled activities for the club. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nurse desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book here he gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Bro, just read, you motherfucker. I could probably fall asleep right now. Close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm, that doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in in the first place. If it's a literature event, so it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak uh, to, to their creative minds. What's this? Sir, Sayuri is ta taking this really seriously. It's rare for her to- It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh. That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh, 
Well, I guess we could. Thanks. <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. And cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But that therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayuri can put her her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. What? I open my eyes to find Sayuri's Sayuri's face filling my vision. I know you fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for falling asleep like that. This isn't the napping club. Uh, does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? You're in a club. You're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You will need to get used to it. Don't say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Siri. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh. <laughs> every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on! Let's give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayuri, it's written all over you. Eh? Sayuri glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah! Ah, noodles give me creativity, Natsuki. Like me for real. No. No. Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Sari's hair, trying to straighten them out. Man, you really need to. You really need a brush for this. Mm, my hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more, uh, there's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you, uh, and you don't even keep your blazer button up. Seriously, Sayori. I think you don't have a boyfriend yet. Eh? That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? What? I was just thinking about I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy you're like this. Aren't you? Ah. Uh, I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> I did it. I, it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you wouldn't. You would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Why? What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't 
say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Why does it feel... Why does it feel strange to see Sari's blazers buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Oh, it's not worth it at all. Sayuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's much better. Sayuri puts her arms up and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And he'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So, maybe you could come wake me up in the morning? You're doing it again, Siri. Aw, oh, but I was just joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Yes, you can we read yours. Yeah, same. I feel the sound and too enthusiastic, but Sari oh, still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write the poem last night? Yeah. My exact my rela my my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically put out, pull out their poems. Sayori, Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Uh, on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Uh, you have the same haircut as Sayori when you cut it off. My hair is longer now. Who should I show my poem first? Monica! I should start with Monica. Yesterday, she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know what I I'm putting in the effort. Hi, Yashi. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear. Um, by the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Yoshi. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's not that... Uh, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. That's true. I have my... I, I had Monica my poem. Mm hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of uh, something Sari would like. Is that so? You and Sari are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well. We may be good friends, but Sari and I are really diff are, are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you want, wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like you two... Uh, it sounds like two of you are re really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's 
the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure? You sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Yuri is writing. Has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes putting. No, she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, teach their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure you'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. The best way to find uh, to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased based towards a bit biased towards their own kinds of right of style. But I'll help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. X. Oh, fuck. Hi, cry. How are you, cry? How are you? Uh, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not to be very to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction. Of the spackle protrudes a noisy neighbor an angry boyfriend i'll never know i wasn't home i peer inside for a clue no i can't i reel blind like a film let out in the sun but it's too late my retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image it's just a little hole it wasn't too bright it was too deep, stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking up, and he on the other side was looking in. Uh, doing just fine, uh, doing fine, just woke up and Nissan is wrapping me up again. <laughs> he is. Also, it's good that you're doing, uh, you're doing fine. Also, if you just woke up, good morning to you. Hope your morning so far has been good. saw the new art it's so cute it is i didn't see it it's like really cute Anyways, uh, yeah, Larika drew it for me. Uh, she could draw you one too because she's doing a special Valentine event on the stream. <gasps> yo! Uh, yo! Wait, that sounds dope.
Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that sounds really dope. Uh, anyways, so what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the, uh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. But I guess you could say that I have some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Um, maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to pick it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll, get, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's the that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, epiphany is a funny word. Sounds like an elephant Pokemon. Mar. I will work out. Well, okay. We'll do just an order. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Yoshi! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when you read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a Yoshi poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori so hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you really are part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Yoshi. Keep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks. Sayori. Fuck. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, uh, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, 
It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead topped me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Uh, are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Nar. Sayori. Same Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No? Just a little bit? Y you can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question? I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say it. No, I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> This is so much fun! Monica's the best! Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward- I look forward to it. Uh, how's- how game so far? Pretty good! Pretty good. Anyways. Uh, who should I show my poem next? Uh, let's do Natsuki next. Well, well, it's about unexpected from someone like you. Well, that's a little blunt. Excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Well, anyways. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. 
Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it f fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the young. Didn't expect that from the young one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud that I won't, then I won't take that away from her. I write the simplest essay because I have the making the teacher's job easy mindset. The simpler the essay, the simpler it is for them to check. Smart. It and true though, true. Alright, Yuri is last. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. This is sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. It it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Um, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No! Did I raise my voice? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her, her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a, a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that, that are usually typical of new writers. And have been... And have been through, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stampering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It may take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and by learning, example, and trying something new, but trying new things. <laughs> okay, so, um, I decided to kill Nissan by myself. Lol, kids are still busy with something? I don't know. I haven't heard from her yet. I don't know her discord. Oh! I could give it- uh, I could give it to you. Uh, no, Nissan. Kids are still ones to kill you. I fell asleep earlier. Good morning. I tend to get sleepy a lot when I'm depressed and having family problems. Oh! I'm so sorry. I 
I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Bias? Ow. Um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do! I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if oh, that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Uh, okay. Uh, it's just to time, uh, skip time, you know? Probably why I'm tall as fuck. That explains it. it oh, I hit my mic again. It explain. Yeah, no, it explains it. Mm -hmm. uh, goes under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bath bathing, it must... It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced with the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. My depression got me taller, damn. That, that must be... I was gonna say that must be nice, but like, I'm depression as shit and I'm still short. I can't talk, um, but it's unhealthy because when I sleep at night, I sleep very long hours, like 12 hours. Damn, 12 hours. I wish I could sleep 12 hours. Although I, yeah, no, that, it's also unhealthy as well. I I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Yoshi. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. I'm like a girl on her period if I'm depressed. Ah, tired. Or just like really pissed off at the world. Or like me, I'm just more hungry. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. <clears throat> it's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember th that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. And we're done! Uh, if you touch- if you touch me, I'll- I will fucking kill you, kind of- Oh! I see, I see, I see. Apples and bananas, orange and lemons. Cucumbers and pickles. Grapes and raisins.
Phew. I guess that's everyone. I got into the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Yay. <laughs> Dates and strawberries. Um. Watermelon and. Honeydew. Pears and cantaloupes. I love cantaloupes. Cantaloupes are so good. The strawberries are good too. Same with cucumbers. <laughs> it's as if everyone is judging me from my for my own for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I guess that's what I en ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. They read in tandem. I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What is this language? Uh, grenades? Grenades? Grenades and mangoes. I love grenades. Cherries and blueberries. Blackberries and raspberries. Um... Onions and garlic. <laughs> That's not fruit, Yoshi. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um Uh, let me change my answer. Uh, star fruit and dragon fruit. A uh, star fruit and mangosti. Oh, that one's better than I thought of. Are you fuck you said <laughs> said star fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck you said star fruit. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I wasn't trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out, come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So Yuri liked it, and Yoshi did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent... A long time establishing my own writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. And Yoshi liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Narder arguing. Uh, I should have played more Suika. <laughs> Ah, tangerine and mangosteen, kiwi and lime, coconut and buko. I don't like coconut, me neither. Buko is better for you. And toasted coconut. I like both. They're for, I like both are just really good. They're both good. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Man, that's not what I... Oh, you're just 
Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Yashi appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... What does the MC look like again? Um, your... I guess the... Your basic, generic... Brunette anime protagonist? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh... Uh -oh. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Yoshi started showing up. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's final. This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. A uh, typical generic basic brunette anime schoolboy, and these four girls are fighting over him? Yes. Yes, they are. Surprisingly enough. Why? I don't know either. Yeah, she... she she's tr just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could go over... If, fuck. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing style is more effective, then it wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all conv convoluted for no reason? The meaning you should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Yoshi. Wait, uh, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. The most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Yoshi? Um, well... How did I get tracked into this in the first place. It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever, whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course, th that's going to be Sayori. I'm scared. Why am I being com- Oh uh, wait. Uh, cause I don't understand anime girls. I don't either. Cause story. Why go for the most basic guys? I don't know. Why go for the basic guys when you can go for K? Why am I being compared to basic guys? I don't know. I prefer Sayori. Actually, Monica. Monica's cute. <laughs> to, to, be, to be honest. <laughs> Monica do be a cute. Monica for me, same. Uh, anyways, uh, Natsuki is best grill, in my opinion. The others can die. <laughs> Nor dang. <laughs> uh, stick around for later then. Uh, I'm not into short hair girls, except when they give mommy vibes. Bear! Damn, Yoshi caught a stray bullet. What? JK, her hair is probably wrong right now. What? What do you mean? Foreshadowing. <laughs> Nah, it's true though. Send help, Sayori! Wait, I can save. No. I, I, I don't know. Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words in my mouth. I had in my mouth. So I instead turned to Yuri. Yuri. But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori! Huh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting.
fighting is making Sari uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Yashi. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Ayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. She would never. It's your immaturity that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are just are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because... Well... Also, Natsuki's cute. And there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Sayori. Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. Of me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well... I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? Uh, I know that Monica is a crazy bitch. It's why I like her more than the others. She actually has personality. <laughs> Damn. Fair. Also, me BRB stuff. Uh, Sayori does not know what sen sensitive info is. Well... I mean, it shows. I'm speaking facts here, not for real. Oh, hi, crazy bitch. <laughs> you could say that. She might, even, she might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. How long is this? It's really long. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did all of you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Yoshi, what about- How about you? Fuck. Yoshi, how about you? I'd say I- Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk, uh, to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you could learn something from your friends too. So your poems will return will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Yeah, she. Ready to walk home? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Siri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I really can't say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, bet you know, between Yuri and Natsuki. 
Does that kind of thing ha happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Yeah. You know, Yoshi, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayuri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. You're sure being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayuri. I pat Sayuri on the shoulder. I said them more to myself than her to her, but it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. But it did it dim 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 Okay, so uh about like an hour more and then I'll end stream because I have classes later today. God. Talking this much with like trying to voice everything. Okay. Um marshmallows. Um oh, childhood. Awesome. Uh Sa a strawberry uh, email shiny uh, extraordinary tears frightening passion oh, ambient Disarray uh, Shopping uh, Melody Poof Fla Essence Holiday Depression Pop Vertigo Uh, another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting today. Uh, I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Yashi! Yo, Siri. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm... Uh, I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. I go play Genshin for a bit, Yosh. Yeah, no worries, Kay. And good luck with Genshin. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? <laughs> Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. 
as Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse, she fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I could see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that leaves the one option. <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. I, I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Yuri. Tell Yoshi to let me, let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah! Did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Oh... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! <laughs> Still, coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, is there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows what she's knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had, so I had Natsuki. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> I don't know where something smacks her in the face and tumbles onto the desk. <laughs> oh, what was eh? A cookie. Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my re restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Ski, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Oh god. Okay, so I'm kind of getting a little lightheaded from... I haven't done this many voices in... Actually, we are autosave. Slay... Okay, so uh, I'm gonna end it here because I'm getting lightheaded. It's not, it's not great. Also, it's r just really fucking short. The stream's too short. I saved the motherfucker. Uh, but uh yeah no i'm getting i'm getting a little too lightheaded so i'm gonna end i'm gonna end stream here unfortunately oh
Oh, wait, hold on. Yo, look at this. Wait, it's okay, Yoshi, go rest up. Yeah, I'm sorry. Also, I clicked exit DDLC and then this showed up. I kind of panicked because I thought it was. I thought, like, what's that? I think this is the plus version, like the plus edition to like well uh, this is one of the new thing yeah oh they got side stories uh, okay we'll discover we'll oh that's pretty cool actually and that, and that kind of made me panic because i was like oh god wait did it did my thing get hacked okay well um <laughs> Okay, there we go. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a uh, head to bed. I'm like so lightheaded right now. <laughs> uh, I should have. I didn't. Okay, I haven't done this in a while, so all all that just. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It's a super short stream. I hate it. I hate that so much. But yeah. To those who are still here, wait, is Mail still live? We could raid him. Or we could raid someone. Actually, no, let's raid someone else. Because, you know, let's raid someone else. We'll raid new people. You know, gotta, gotta break the, no, that's not it. Gotta expand. <laughs> we gotta expand the world. If that makes sense. Ah, uh, it's fine, Yoshi, don't worry. Uh, let's see. No! Everyone is, like, a good majority of everyone playing is, like, none of them speak English. Or are VTubers. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's kind of fucked. Why is it when I want to, when I want to like raid someone and it's of the same game, it doesn't work out. Ah. Anyways, I guess I'll just end stream. Uh, uh the mailman on. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid the mailman <laughs> again. What's he playing? Actually, God, I have to. What is this? Sorry, I'm on this. God. Uh, XCOM 2. Oh. Oh. Alright. Uh, we'll raid mail again. Gotta raid the mail, man. Actually, no, wait, hold on. Zen's live, actually. Nah, <laughs> I don't think Zed wants to see me. <laughs> no one tell him I said that. That's just the stupid little voice in my head. I think everyone just does not want to see me. <laughs> also, me finished mod. I've been playing and posted pic in, uh, of power armor on male discard. Wait, I'm gonna look at that actually. So that sounds dope. I'll look at that before I end. Uh, I'm gaming. Damn. <laughs> you wait, the cat that that looks really cool, James. Uh, I well raid mail. So, to those who are still here, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you guys in the next three. Bye bye, everyone. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. That is plasma weapon I has. Yo, let's go. Alright. Uh, uh, okay, so to those with subs, uh, you can use this one.
and to those without i forgot to try and fix that and to those without please use this one and i will see you guys later uh goodbye yashi night night good night everyone again i'm very sorry that the stream is short i'm like lightheaded i feel bad though but um i'm, I'm and i'm sorry i promise i will uh i'll do better <laughs> oh anyways y'all have a wonderful rest of your day i'll see y'all tomorrow we're gonna play well, if, uh, if things work out, I might, uh, I might do a collab or I'll play Mori. But, you know, not, nah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm still, though, I feel bad. Anyways, bye-bye, everyone. Good night. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.